Uh, usually they like can fall when you're stepping around. Okay? I don't know if you notice a difference in this, but if I step, I'm going to step a little bit more. And then come around. The reality of that, really, is that you should always be this moving first and that moving you around. You know, because if you punch, I'm not going to leave that there. I'm going to be moving first. Like the, um, you're going to have a touch of the hands first. You know what I mean? And you can move the punch. You're going to have a touch of the hands as you move. I'm not going to move a punch. Yeah. And move, and then get contact. Yeah. So in this, what I don't want to do is move and then get a contact. I kind of need to be thinking, if anything, the contact before the feet. Yeah. You're never going to move your feet as fast as you're going to move your hands. So initially, when you're learning this, you can kind of have this, um, like in one and two, uh, well, you can just have this um, step around, you kind of close together. In four, when you get to this point, the step around, close to this, and leave that arm, is, is, it's easy for training purposes, but for reality it's a little bit silly to do that. I'm trying to think of all those at that point. So as you turn, because if you just drop, the lats in the way. So you're turning your shoulders here as the hand gets you into position, and then this part can pull you around. So I'm going to turn your shoulders, back around. So I think of turning, and then using this hand to be the thing. And again, thinking of shoulders, pulling you around. Same here, pulling you around. So you kind of get a different feel to so you get this forward and back. Um, rather than just moving into position and doing the shape, try and feel everything forwards and back as well. So the forward here, I'm going to pull back. Thank you for the time.